Hey folks, um, you watch my YouTube vlog show, TPL. Um, I, I'm, it's hosted by me. Um, the man is born and raised in the 70s, made in the 80s, grew up in the 90s, stood tall in the 2000s, and still standing strong. Um, in, in this present time, while I talk about what's up, what's down, what's all around town, my life and entertainment, while well, trying to bring the, the life, the love, the laughter, the heart, and the entertainment to all you wonderful people out there. Um, now, my name is Eric Lehman, by the way. This is episode 844. For those of you who don't know, the last episode, the Bullseye Island, was 843. Forgive the mic mess-ups. Um, I figured out what it is. and Ever since the computer upgrade, like I said, um, so a lot of changes. And so my videos have gotten better, but the mic work needs a little bit of work. But I found out what it was. If I do the right sound, it would sound like you guys don't understand what I'm saying. So I'm, that's why I decided to test things out and uh, I did, did things right. So there you go. Um... Uh, seriously, well, on a serious note, folks, um, I'm not a big fan of the of the band Linkin Park. I never, I wasn't, I was never into their music. I mean, I've always been an '80s, '90s kind of guy when it comes to music. And to find out that one, their lead singer Chester Bennington, had committed suicide, and it's sad, sad that you. I think being a celebrity, it just shows me that that being a celebrity is kind of tough in this world today. You know, you have everything going on, you have everything you want, and then all of a sudden, you know. Sometimes things happen and it goes on in your mind. And I mean, it's happened with Robin Williams. It's happened, you know. Depression is a very, very sad thing. I mean, it makes me well aware. You know, condolences and prayers to the Bennington family and friends, including the band Lincoln Park. Um, it just show. It just shows me that you know. It's it's, it's sad when you have a good life ahead of you, and then all of a sudden, you, all of a sudden. You decide to commit suicide. I mean, it's not right. Suicide has never been the answer. I mean, I thought of suicide when I was a kid. You know, when I, not, when I was a teenager, I thought about it. You know, I thought of killing myself many, many times. Um, it it was you know it was not all that fun to me. To me, it's more of a cry for attention, in, for my part. And it just you know it just really strikes me. Yeah, a lot of things have happened to me in my life. And there are days, there are times where I want to say, that's it, I want to end it. But, you know, I realized, um, and realized throughout my, throughout my life through family and friends that suicide has never been the answer. And, you know, I don't know what happened, went to Mr. Bennington's mind, I don't know, I don't know what through, went through his mind, I don't know what his background is like, you know, it's very, you know, it's very hard to have your, um, um, keep your life private as a celebrity. And it, it's it's you know because with the social media day and age it's very very difficult to do so, and plus with terrorists running around, killing people left and right, it's um, it's something that you know it, it strikes you within here you know, and um, I don't know what to say you know all I can say is my condolences and prayers go out to um, Chester Bennington's family and friends and, and to the band Lincoln Park. I've heard about the band Lincoln Park. Um, it's that, you know, it's sad that this is happening, you know, why would it, you know, sometimes, you know, why would a man kill himself, you know, and, you know, is depression an answer, you know, is depression the answer, you know, for, for the, or actually the reason, excuse me, the reason for, for Mr. Bennington to do what he did, I don't know what, you know, what happened, and I don't know what the backstory is on that, it's, it's, it's just really sad, you know, a famous celebrity would do this to himself, and, and it just hurts. It just hurts me to see this because a lot of people, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of young kids out there, you know, that you know, they feel that they have no future and all that, and just, uh, you know, and they get bullied and all that good stuff. And this is why I, I take, we take a stand against bullying, especially against the internet trolls. That's why I took a stand and decided not to talk about it because they're trying to bully me. You know, because they don't like my videos. That's fine. You know, people don't like my videos. People don't like anything I do. They don't like me. That's fine. Just move on with your life. You know, I don't care about how you feel about me. Just move on with your life then, you know. You know, go fly a kite and tie yourself to it. I don't really don't care at this point. The fact of the matter is, is this, you know, you don't go around bullying people. And I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's really it's really sad that, they're, that, you know, that kids, you know, get bullied. Young kids bu get bullied and then they, get, they kill themselves. And it was really sad. And celebrities, I don't know what, you know, I, you know, why, why was suicide even invented? Why would anybody thought of this? Suicide, and it just saddens me. It just, 
it just it just saddens me. Suicide is something that that is not right. You know, I'm not gonna get mad at the celebrity and berate um, the celebrity for doing that, but because I don't know why he did it, I just don't understand it at all. I don't know why, why Chester Bennington k k killed himself. I just don't understand it. I mean, the guy had a great life. He's got an awesome band. He, he probably has an awesome family. And you know, you, when you when you're when you're part of a band and, you, and they're doing very well, you're a top celebrity. On top, if I was a celebrity on top of the world, I'd be happy. I'd be thanking the fans. I'd be you know never forgetting my roots with family and friends and just say thank you, you know, and just you know keep doing my thing, keep working hard and, and entertaining and making people smile. And that, you know, and I know what happened to Robin Williams and all that. I, I, I don't know. I just, you know, it just, it just, it just, you know, celebrities killed themselves, and it just, it's, it's, celebrities killing themselves is just, is just, you know, I just, you know, it's really sad, you know, it just, it just goes to show you, you know, a, a word of warning to you, all you can, all you guys out there, you know, suicide's never been the answer, don't do it, you know, don't do it, it it's not worth it, trust me, it's not worth it, I mean, you, you're leaving behind family and friends and relatives to, to pick up the pieces of what happened and how it happened and all that and it just I don't know I really seriously don't know and I for the life of me for the life of me I seriously you know I don't know what to tell you guys I don't know what to tell you all these condolences and prayers go out to Chester uh, Bennington's family and his friends and his bandmates from Lincoln Park I know it's not you know, I don't know the guy. I don't. It's just, it's just, you know, just suicide. It's just the suicide thing is just really, you know, dri drives me crazy because it boggles the mind. You know, listen, I have a bad day, and, and you know, sometimes I feel. I try not to feel as depressed. All right, depression is another thing that can really hurt the, hurt the person inside. It's like you know, don't listen. If you're feeling depressed, I would encourage you to talk to somebody. Talk to somebody you can trust. Some. Talk to some. Uh, talk to you know. If you can't talk to your parents, talk to somebody you can trust. That's all I gotta say. You know, because it's it, it's a very important that you, you express you express your, you express your feelings. Don't do anything violent. Don't do anything that will make you throw your future away. Just you know, just express yourself. You know, it just it just really hurts that you know there's you know, you know people out there you know having a tough life and everything else. That's why you know you know people make fun of me and I live in my parents' basement and all. But you know what though. You know, the things like that could drive a person to suicide or something like that. But me, I'm just, I'm just thankful for where I'm at. Because I got the, you know, Jesus Christ to me is the only answer. Because he, if it had not been for him, I would not be here alive today. I would not be here talking to all these wonderful people out there. I care about everybody out there. I don't care if they believe in God or not. All right? I don't care if they're gay, straight, or anything, or a lesbian or anything like that. I care about the person inside. The person inside the heart of the person. I care about the person, who that person is, you know, and you know, I get trolled a lot, and you know what, it doesn't bother me anymore, it was all, it's like, every time I see another troll, oh, another stupid idiot trying to uh, get me off YouTube, blah, 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 you know, all they do is blah, 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 that's all they do, you know, in one ear, out the other, you know, hey, you know what, sometimes we all have our rough days and problems, man, but you know what, suicide's never been the answer, you know, I kind of wish that, you know, Chester would see you know, would see somebody and talk to somebody, you know, I wish he done that, you know, I don't know what it is, does he have a family on his own, I, I don't know, I don't know, any, I don't know anything, I don't know a thing about the man, you know, like I said, I'm not a big fan of Lincoln Park, and you know, I'm not gonna say I hate Lincoln Park and all that, is that, you know, anytime a celebrity, you know, dies via suicide, it hurts, it's like they have the, they've lived the life, I don't know what is, you know, uh, there's gotta be something deep inside them that made them do this, I don't know what it is, but Listen, just don't, come on, suicide sucks, guys. Don't do it. You know, don't do it. I, I, it just hurts. It just hurts me to, to even think about it, you know. It's like, you know, nowadays, you know, like I said, you know, like I said a few episodes ago, like nowadays I'm, you know, I did, I had, a, I struggled a lot, you know, at the age of 18, you know. I struggled a lot, you know, moving, making new friends, and, you know, and all this, and having a new job, you know, my ex, my, my crush was going out with somebody else. And I had thoughts, of, I had thoughts of suicide then, you know, and it's really, it's really, it's really disheartening to see, to see that. And that's why on my last episode I talked about inner, embrace your um, inner nerdiness or geekiness and embrace yourself, embrace who you are. 
that's what I'm trying to say. I'm encouraging you guys to brace yourselves on who you are. You know, don't embrace the negative. Embrace the positive. You know, embrace the reason why you're here on Earth. There is a reason why you're here. There is a reason. You're unique. You're you. The world needs you guys. You know, heck, I'm, you know, my sister Jaira, I'm proud of her. Because she survived sick and baby syndrome. And you know what she did? She had the heart to do something and give something back to the hospital that basically saved her life. And that's what she did. And I'm, I'll be forever, forever proud of Jaira for it. And believe me, it's something that you know it needs to be talked about. You know, if you're feeling, if you guys, if you people out there feeling depressed or feeling angry or getting bullied, or, talk to an adult. Talk to somebody you can trust. Talk to an adult. All right, there, there, there are adults out there that have been in, have been your age, have been the way, you know, how. How have you you've been feeling? You know. Listen, I get picked on a lot. When I was a kid, I got picked on a lot. I've been called names. I've been called every name in the book. You know, and being here on the internet, you know, it's no different. It's really at the age of forty. You know, listen, I, I I do acknowledge that fact. That I live in my parents' basement at the age of forty. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a wife. You know what? You know, sometimes you know, back in the day, I wouldn't let that stuff bother me. I would be upset. Angry, frustrated, and everything else. Nowadays, nowadays it's like, meh, you know, I'm thankful for where I'm at. I've always got to be thankful. You have to be thankful because the fact is that if it had not been for the Lord Jesus Christ, I would not be here talking to all of you right now. I'm serious. Man, I lost my biological mother five years ago to chronic bronchitis. She took, back in the day, you know, drugs had broken up our family. It was me, my biological parent, and me and my biological parents. I was the only child. My father cleaned up his life. He cleaned up his life, got himself together, and, and he got remarried in 88. I'll be proud of my father for doing that. He made the right decision. At first, I struggled with my new new, mo new mom, my stepmom. But over the years, her and I got along, and we respected each other. And it was, it was, something, it was something really cool. And I can admit, my my father don't I see eye to eye a lot, but I love him. He basically saved my life. God through him, basically saved my life. I didn't mean to get all religious and all that because, but there's sometimes there's a lot of people out there who go, who go through a lot of things, and you know, people will say, how, you know, despite what you've been through here on the internet and all that, how are you still standing your, uh, standing your ground? Because, because of him, the Lord. Like I said, if it had not been for him, I wouldn't be talking to all. I wouldn't be doing this show today. That's why I'm always thankful for everything that I have, even if, if even there's a job, if, if it's a job that I don't like, I'm thankful for it because it provides me money, it provides me the ability to do what I do here. That's why this. That's why I make sure this show stands. All right, suicide's never been the answer. It never has been. Never will be the answer to all your pro to all the problems in the world all your problems in your life talk to somebody please the world needs you the world needs me and the world needs all of us one way or the other don't destroy your future please don't do don't destroy your future by doing drugs don't destroy your future by smoking or shooting people up or anything or Anything like that, please talk to somebody. All right, that's what you need to do. You know, so my condolences and prayers to the, to to the Bennington family and to the fans of Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. I know lots of people out there love Lincoln Park. Um, the band Lincoln Park, and uh, and to the band Lincoln Park themselves. I don't know what to say other than suicide sucks. It's something from the heart. It's all the time we have here. 
Remember, use your heads. Don't do stupid things. Love and respect one another, please. Because coolness is the essence of a happy person. If you're having a bad day, grab a pad, grab a pen, tell that bad day they just made the list. Episode 844. Suicide sucks. Remember, the world needs you. There's people out there that love you and care about you. Go to them. Trust them. Talk to them. Peace out.